Ever since the initial release of Skyrim back in late 2011, its large player base has remained consistently active to this day. Many of its dated and glitchy game mechanics are still loved by its community, despite the release of several other open world RPGs. What is it about Skyrim that keeps players returning to create a new character and invest countless more hours in a game that is nearly the same it was when it was first released 12 years ago? What are the three most important reasons that play into why this game has been kept alive for over a decade? Despite Skyrim being released on three different generations of consoles by now, there is still so much replay value to be found in Skyrim for new or returning players. As you load up your new character, you get to experience one of the most iconic opening sequences of all time, during which you get to customize your character's race, body structure, and facial features any way you like, which is especially important for many of the players out there who love to roleplay multiple unique characters. As the Dragonborn escapes the destruction of Alduin and Helgen, they are released into the vastness of Skyrim's treacherous but beautiful landscape to realize their purpose as Dragonborn, to become the master of the Notorious Thieves Guild, to take the position of Archmage at the College of Winterhold, or to worship the Night Mother accepting assassination contracts as a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Whether you're curing the mind of Pelagius III, or retrieving the roof of Lax with Barbus at your side during a Daedric questline, there is always something for returning players to come back to. Taking a side to turn the tides of war in Skyrim between Stormcloaks and Imperials, returning a goat you stole to remember what you did the night before, abusing exploits to rush skill and level progression, or just simply wandering the land of Skyrim aimlessly to discover something random you would have never otherwise known about. Probably one of the most obvious factors responsible for keeping this game relevant for such a long time is its modding capabilities and the large modding community behind the thousands of mods created for bettering the overall enjoyment and experience of playing Skyrim. Graphic enhancing mods designed to make the game look more detailed and smoother than most modern AAA games, mods to alter the appearance of your follower NPCs to take with you during adventures, Mods that allow you to add unique enemy NPCs you'll encounter in different places around Skyrim, or the several other silly mods you can download just to simply give you a good laugh. Skyrim's modding community have created thousands of unique mods for every kind of player and playstyle out there, keeping many players from losing interest over the years. But mentioning Skyrim's player base retention without giving credit to the game's setting and universe which the geography and questline plots are developed around just wouldn't be fair. Located in the far northern reaches of Tamriel, the events of the Elder Scrolls V take place during the 201st year of the Fourth Era, 200 years or so after the events of the Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. The Dragonborn during the game's main questline is tasked with retrieving, learning, and discovering different items, information, and locations which in turn makes the player have to traverse various different types of landscapes, as the land of Skyrim widely ranges from lush forests to steaming geyser fields to jagged snowy mountains. It is obvious that Skyrim stands out among previous Elder Scrolls titles. The graphical enhancements, due to technological advancements in the gaming industry, really brings to life the beauty and true scale of Skyrim's many biomes. It's no wonder that strong traits such as the ones previously mentioned are what have been keeping Skyrim's active player count so steady for all these years. Even though Bethesda has been taking their sweet time to release the next installment of the Elder Scrolls series, it is still important to recognize the fundamentals of what truly made Skyrim a masterpiece of a game, especially considering the technical limitations the developers might have had to face while creating this game over a decade ago. Nevertheless, the final product was a game which is still praised to this day and is truly a fantastic world to dive into for new and returning players and remains my personal favorite video game of all time. Thank you to anyone who took the time to click on and watch this video. For anyone who has made it to this point, I would greatly appreciate if you were to leave a like and subscribe if you happen to enjoy this video. And let me know if you enjoy shorter form game analysis videos such as this one. And I will see you in the next video.